Hello everyone, this is Noble H1 Stack, and today we are here with another main association of Math Leagues problem. October 2013, round 3, problem 3. So, find the value of the following, and then they give us a 4x4 four four matrix with two bars on the side. What this means is that we need to find the determinant of the matrix. So, lots of work, because it's a 4x4 four four matrix, so there's not really a formula, well, there is technically a formula, but that, that's too complicated to memorize. So, we're just going to do it using the mi minor matrices of this matrix. So, a minor matrix is when you take one of the elements, like this one, let's say this one, and then you cross out all of the elements in its row, and you cross out all of the elements in its column. Okay, the reason we did that is because once we define the de determinant of this matrix, let's call the determinant of that matrix n, then we go back, we fill these spaces in. Okay, so we have n, the determinant, or d, the d for determinant. Okay, and then we multiply that by 1, because that's the one we cost out. And then we do the same thing with the 2, so we just cross all of these elements out. Okay, so we crossed all of those elements out, and then we get a d another determinant called D2. So then we put all of those elements back in again, because we need them. And then we subtract by 2, because it's another cell, so we keep alternating between addition and subtraction. Then we multiply by D2. And then we do the same thing with 3, so we add by 3, and then we find another determinant, which is D3. And then we do the same thing with the 0, except we don't need to, because 0 times anything is 0, so we can just ignore the determinant for 0. So we need to find three determinants, and once we cross out all of these elements, notice what kind of matrix we were left with. Okay, so this is our minor matrix when we crossed out the first top cell. This is a 3x3 three three matrix. 3x3 three three matrices, finding the determinant of those is okay. It's kind of hard, but it's not that hard. There is a formula for it, but I'm going to use a different method. So, yeah, we need to find the determinant of three 3x3 three three matrices, and then we need to multiply by things and add them all up. So, not too hard of a problem, but definitely hard if you don't know what a determinant is, because I think sometimes we only learn what the determinant of a 2x2 two two and a 3x3 three three matrix is, and we don't really know how to find the determinant of 4x4 four four or 5x5 five five or any size matrix. So, now, let's do this. So first, we're going to start with 1, and find D. Okay, so we're left with 1, 1, 0, 1, 5, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so we're left with this matrix. So the way I'm going to find the determinant of this matrix is that I'm going to take away these boys, and I'm going to repeat the first two columns. You might have seen this before, you might not have, but, okay. Okay, so now that we've taken away, no, now that we've added two more columns, we've repeated the columns, so this column is the same as the first column, and the second column is the same as this last column. So, now that we've done that, we need to find the sum of the down diagonals and the sum of the up diagonals. What I mean by a down diagonal and an up diagonal is that a down diagonal is a product of three elements in a diagonal. So, 1 times 1 times 1. That's a down diagonal. 0 times... 5 times 1. That's a down diagonal. So 1 times 1 times 1, that was 1. 0 times 5 times 1, that's 0. And 0... No. 0 times 0 times 1, that's 0. So that's the sum of the down diagonals. The down diagonals is the product of the elements 
on a diagonal like this. Which is why I needed to repeat the first two columns. Because if you go here, and then you try to go on a down diagonal, you can't really get anywhere. Because there's no columns right here, so we had to repeat the columns. So that's a down diagonal. You, you go on a down diagonal by going down, if you notice. So we're at the top, then we're at the middle, then we're at the bottom. So that's a down diagonal. And the sum of those is 1 plus 0 plus 1, which is 1. And then we need to subtract the up diagonals. Now the up diagonals go from the bottom, so right here, 1 times 1 times 0. So that we just went up. So 1 times 1 times 0 is 0. That's 1 up diagonal. And let's put this up. Okay, so 1 times 5 times 1, that's another up diagonal, and that's 5. So because 1 times 5 times 1 is 5. So 1 times 0 times 0, that's our last up diagonal, and that's just a 0. 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5, and 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So that's our determinant of this matrix, that's D. So. You can get rid of this, and then we just substitute this in D. So 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, so we've solved our first 3 by 3 matrix. Now, okay. So now we need to do the same thing with the 2. So we cross out the 2 out, and then we cross out the whole top row again. And then instead of crossing out the first column, we cross out the second column. Okay, so left with the following matrix. Okay, so and now we just do the same thing we did before. We just um, copy the first two columns. Okay. And now we just find the sum of the down diagonals and subtract the sum of the up diagonals. The same process, different numbers. So 2 times 2 times 1 times 1, that's 2. Uh, 0 times 5 times 1, that's 0. And 0 times 2 times 1, that's also 0. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2, so that's our sum of down diagonals. 1 times 1 times 0, that's 0. 1 times 5 times 2, that's 10. And 1 times 2 times 0, that's 0. So 0 plus 10 plus 0 is 10, and 2 minus 10 is negative 8. So we just solved another 3 by 3 matrix. And that's D2. So negative 2 times negative 8, that's positive 16. Positive 16. You remember that. So now left with negative 4 plus 16, that's 12. If, if you didn't make it positive and you accidentally made that multiplication, negative 2 times negative 8 negative, that would have messed you up. So you, try not to make mistakes like that. that I think that messed me up the first time I did this problem. So, okay, now we need to do the same thing with the 3. So we cross out the whole top row again. And then we cross out the third column. So we're left with this matrix. And we do the same exact thing again. Okay, so copy the first two columns, and find the sum of the down diagonals and the sum of the up diagonals. So, 2 times 0 times 1, that's 0. 1 times 5 times 1, that's 5. And 0 times 2 times 1, that's 0. So 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5. So that's the sum of the down diagonals. And 1 times 0 times 0, that's 0. 
1 times 5 times 2, that's 10. And 1 times 2 times 1, that's 2. 0 plus 10 plus 2 is 12. So we're left with 5 minus 12, which is negative 7. That's D3. Oh, okay. So 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. So 12 plus negative 21, that's 12 minus 21, same thing. 12 minus 21 is negative 9. That is our answer. So yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I thought that was a pretty hard problem. It looks hard, and it is hard, you know? I think sometimes looks can be deceiving, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes you actually have to do the math. You actually have to do a lot of multiplication and addition and subtraction. I just really don't like matrix determinants of matrices. But if you're good at matrices, then you have an advantage at this competition, I think. Because, at least in my math team, I've seen that people don't like matrices a lot. So, I guess if you make matrices your friend, then they'll help you, especially at this topic. Because, as you can see, there's matrix problems all around here. So, yeah. Matrices can be an advantage for you if you're good at matrices. So. And they're not that hard. They're just really repetitive. And sometimes they can be solved with formulas and methods. So yeah, that's the determinant of a 4x4 matrix, and have fun doing math!